Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Conversations with Pop Pop. Well, today it's more like Conversations with Uncle Nick, because we're talking today to Brody, who's in Baltimore, uh, Maryland, and Brody is my great nephew. So, good morning, Brody. Hi. Hi. How are you doing today? Good. Pretty good. Fantastic. You know, hey, tell everybody, how long have we been setting up the camera today? How long's it taken us? Two hours. <laughs> That's about right, right? But I, I tell you, I want to thank your mom, Brianna, for getting it all set up so nicely. Really looks good. You look fantastic on camera. Tell me, how old are you, Brody? What grade are you in? I'm eight, you know, man. I'm about to be in third grade. Okay, so you, you're about to be in third grade. What was it like when you had to go home early in second grade? They cut your year short, right? It was pretty, it was pretty, it was pretty like I was shocked and I was happy. Because I was happy that I was in third grade and I was going to be in third grade. Well, I, boy, I don't doubt that. I can't imagine what that must have been like. That's very cool. So, um, now tell me, as, a, as an eight-year-old boy, who's going to school. Uh, I remember there were certain things that were very, very important in school. One of the things was everybody in school knew who the fastest boy was and who the fastest girl was. Is it still like that in school? Yep. Okay, who, so who's the fastest boy? Me. What? Me. You're the fastest boy? Uh-huh. Congratulations. You know, that is quite a significant honor, if I remember correctly. My goodness. Um, what kind of games do you play that require speed? Um, I play like a lot of Fortnite. Um, and if you're a boy and you're watching this, you can have your other friend. My name is Brody Man 7. Okay, okay. But, but like, I mean, on the playground, uh, when you, and I said the, uh, a game that requires speed. What do you do? Do you play tag? I mean, Fortnite's a video game, right? But what kind of games do you actually play? Do you have recess anymore in school? Yeah, we do. We always do. But fifth grade, they have it like that. Like when they time to go. Okay. And, and what kind of games do you play? Outside? outside? Yeah, outside. I say sometimes my friend Lita come over to my house and we just play tag sometimes or like go run with our scooters and race and right right now what about at school i know in some places they don't let the kids really play during the day uh, uh do they let you play during the day in school yeah okay okay what kind of games do you play when you are you able to go outside when you uh when you play yeah okay and what kind of games do you play i like um I play, I don't, I really just play on the monkey bars and the oh, okay. with my friends. And the fastest girl is my friend Delaney. She's really fast. But we're like this little, hold on. Okay. We're a little bit because um, I like, she run like, I run like right, like right next to her. And like she goes a little bit up and then I go like, like super up and like super, super up. She did. Okay. But I'm like behind me, like right behind me, like I'll be like this, like this blanket right here, like right behind me. Okay. Cool. Cool. That's very neat. Um, well, glad, I'm glad they let you play in school. I was afraid for a second there that they they actually didn't let you play in school, but I'm glad to hear that. Um, so speaking now, speaking of school and girls. Like, do you, do boys and girls play together? Or like, do the boys hang out and then the girls hang out when it's during recess? Um, let's say it's both. Girls and boys play at the same time. Okay, okay. That's funny, because see, when I was a little kid, most of the time, the girls had their own thing going on and the guys had their own thing going on. The guys would be playing games that were a lot rougher than the girls and the girls were playing things like hopscotch and stuff like that. But the, do people even play hopscotch anymore? No. Okay, wow. How about jumping uh, ropes? No. Wow, I guess they probably don't even let ropes, jump ropes in the school anymore. Wow, that's just bizarre. I'm sorry, this is just blowing my mind how, how different things are for you than they were when I was a little boy. But they do swimming in obstacle course. Oh, okay, so swimming in an obstacle course? 
I'm sorry, can you say that again? I didn't understand what you said. Swimming and obstacle course. Like, you can do obstacle course and then you can, like, jump in the pool. Wow, you have a you have a pool at your school. Yep. That is very cool. I can imagine that must be some one of the funnest things you can do in school. Yeah. Wow. Um, if you want to like do it, you have to bring like swimming trunks and all that. And I have another um like a program that um I can go like today, but I can't because it's a rainy day. But like like when it's not raining, I can go there. But it had a like it's really fun, but the pool is really cold. But they mm-hmm. like basketballs and all that stuff. It was really fun. Yeah. Okay, that's very cool. That's very cool. Hey, you know what? At any point, if you want to go ahead and put some of those goofy filters on online, feel free to do that. Just don't knock over the camera because, you know, that's pretty easy to do at your age. So, uh, uh, I got some other questions for you. When you are lining up in school, right? Like, if, if do, well, first of all, do you ever line up at school? Where it's like, okay, we're about to all go out for recess. Everybody line up. Do they ever line you up like that? <laughs> Very nice overlay. I'm sorry, I, I was talking. What did you say? Yeah. So they do line you up in school. How do they line you up? Do they say by first name, by last name? What do they, How do they line you up? What sequence do they use, do you know? First. And then she gonna call the person that's sitting down and not talking. Okay. Do they ever uh, do they ever line you up by how tall you are? Yeah, sometimes. Really? They still do that? Tall. That's. Um, and then another taller, like like I'm tall, and then it's gonna be a person like right to my neck, and then like. To, to the other person, it's gonna be like right to your back, and like yeah, and, and like it's a it's a in my school it's like a little person. He's like like right here, like right here. Okay, but they actually they line you up from like the the shortest to the tallest, something like that. Yeah, I'm the tallest. Okay, okay, boy, I didn't I didn't think they still did that. It was always embarrassing for me because I was always like number two or three shortest so um so what about school when you when you're doing things in school do they ever have you i remember when i was your age second grade and first grade i remember they had uh alphabet at the front of the classroom so that we could learn our abcs did do you did you already learn your abcs before you went to school or did they are they still teaching you that kind of stuff when you're at school I was like three when I said my age. Okay. Like I, I, I was like A B C D, and I saw that D, and then once and I was like like four, I said A B C D, like the whole alphabet. And my mom was like so shocked, and she was like, oh, and then she's like, good God, and then she gave me like a whole bunch of stuff because I said it. Okay. Hey, can you do me a favor and turn off the lightning and all that that's going on on your uh, on your line chat, or just choose something else, okay? Because we've been seeing that for a while, and I think it may be uh, it's just certainly distracting me. Um, okay, so do you ever when you're in school? Oh, that looks nice. Do, in school, do you ever have to like use scissors to cut things out in paper? Because they did that a lot when I was in school. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. They give you the little blunt scissors or the sharp scissors? It's like the little, like, careful scissors, like, so you won't cut yourself. Okay. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah, I remember cutting out words, and at one point we had something that had a little, with a, you know, we put the little words in a box or something. It was just all kinds of crazy stuff like that. That was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed that. Do you enjoy stuff like that? I like when we do arts and crafts. Yeah. No, that sounds sounds about right. What kind of stuff do you like the most at school? I say math and art and craft. Very good. Well, that's good. Good to hear that you like math. Some so many kids convince themselves they don't like math. That's good to hear that you like it. That's fantastic. Hey, what kind of lunches do they? Do, do kids bring their lunch? Do they buy lunch? Do you get it for free? What kind of what do they do for lunch? And what's the best thing they serve for lunch at school? 
They get it for free. Okay. Okay. What's the best thing they serve? Uh, let's say, uh, oh. let's say, um, some pizza. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I tell you, it's hard not to get good pizza, that's for sure. So, and the kids take the bus? Do they walk? What do they do? Do their moms and dads drop them off? Some kids walk and some kids uh, ride the bus. I ride the bus because I do not walk. Okay. Okay. That's pretty cool. So, when they, now, and they have to line you up. Do they, I guess, how do they handle lining you up at the end of the day to take your bus? Do they just send everybody out, or do you have to listen for an announcement? How do they do that? Send for an announcement. Okay. What's the announcement they give for you? What What are you listening for? Well, I'm listening for Blue Bus. Very cool. Okay, cool. That's neat. Um, boys, things are things are so some things are so different. Some things are the same. Are you allowed to drink at the water fountain anytime you like when you're at school? Yeah, but you just have to ask the teacher. Okay. How about going to the, if you have to go to the bathroom, do you have to, I guess you have to ask, or do you just, just go? Anything to ask. You have to ask. Okay. Well, that's, that's pretty much the same. Um, cool, cool. And now, now, you just recently had a birthday, right? Yeah. And I have something to show you, too, if I don't really know. I like, okay. like a, like a fixer person. Like, I have this stuff. Like a drone in here, my yeah, that would be good. Let me see what you got for your birthday. Um, okay. It's yours, but I don't think it's yours. Oh, well, don't worry about it. Oh, it's probably in here. Oh, okay. Uh, now, what is, what is that that you've got uh, in your hand now? What is that? This? Yeah. It's like the remote controller stuff. Oh, the drone, right. That's the, the drone, right? And... And my PlayStation, um, and I'll be like coloring a lot of stuff. Very nice, very nice. And so, I'm like a fixer because I like I like put batteries and stuff on it, but I really don't know like how to like do it because I don't have a screwdriver or anything. Okay. I'm really yeah. with the PlayStation because I'm like a really hardcore PlayStation, and I have like which like. Uh, PlayStation 3 or, um, like, a, and I have, like, I really, I only want to have a Nintendo Switch, but it seems like it costs a lot of money. Oh, man, everybody, I'm surprised how many people want to want the Switch nowadays. It seems to be very popular. It's hard to get nowadays with everybody staying at home. I know that's what it's like in my family. Yeah, I can't really get it. Because the quarantine... Mm -hmm. A lot of stores are opening here, and a lot of people are going outside, but they don't really care about the quarantine. But I don't, I, I'm not saying that I really don't care, I just don't care about it because it's not going to really stop us from going outside. Okay. Well, I'll tell you, that's, uh, that's one heck of a filter you've got on your face there now. <laughs> <laughs> Those are some nice filters. So, um, you think you're going to end up looking like that when you get about my age? <laughs> oh, look at that. Hey, I think you turned your audio off. I can't hear you anymore. Oh, can you hear me? Oh, no, there you go. No, I can hear you now. I can hear you now. I just wasn't hearing you for a second. <laughs> if I open my mouth, uh, this door will come and look. <laughs> that's very that's very incredible. So you open it with the storms coming. Well, that's very cool. Right? What do you want to be when you grow up? So I think everybody knows this because they saw me in the next video. Um, so y'all should check out the next video. I should tell y'all again. So I am. I I want to be a football player and a basketball player. Okay, I'm showing a picture right now of you shaving. Um. So, can you explain this picture? The one without, say, like, saying YouTube channels. Yeah, I, I think that one or that one. Well, let me let me go ahead and share the screen with you so you can see. No. There you go. Do you see that now? Okay. Okay. Um, uh, that was a mistake. Right there. That was no. mistake because my cousin made me do it, and that was that was a really mistake. So I I don't have no excuses. That was a mistake. 
Oh, that was a mistake. Yeah, because anytime I'm trying to save, he always been on social media. Oh, okay. Yeah, because once she, um, she um, my cousin Cassidy told uh, um, Auntie come here, and, and then she like she like she just recorded, and I was like so shocking because I never saw something do it without my permission. I was just I I was, I, was, I didn't really care because. I, I'm a social media person, but I don't really care. I, I just well, do it. Well, that's that's very mature of you. So so they did it without your permission, but you're like, okay, well. Okay, I just try to do it. Okay. Oh, well, that's very cool. So let me let me show you let me show some other pictures. Here's the so that's the picture of you shaving, and now we got some pictures of you uh, walking in a uh, some kind of a, a fashion show. It looks like. Can you can you describe what this was? I was in New York fact, but I was scared because I didn't really like know. But I just I just had to do it. I just like they only like told us if you do it you get fifteen hundred dollars. And I did it. Fifteen hundred dollars. Wow, wow, that's <laughs> I I would certainly do it too, yes. You just have to walk down and come back up, that's all. Very cool. Very cool. Well, congratulations. That's a, that's quite a that's quite a lot of money to make at, at, at your age. That's good. Good for you. And good for you for trying things that are new to you. That was very cool. You said it was a little scary. Can you describe that? Thank you. I was nervous, but I just had to do it for something for my family. Okay. Well, good for you. Good for you, Brody. It has been so much fun, and you've been so good to to. Put up with all this i'll tell you really it took an hour at least to get all this set up and i really appreciate it whoops as you can see it's pretty hard pretty hard to get this set up but we did it and i really appreciate you taking the time okay okay well i will say goodbye to you now brody and i'll talk to you soon okay okay bye bye <laughs> bye bye and thanks everybody. Thanks again everybody for joining, okay?